Howdy sports fans, are you good? Good, good. Being a survival horror fan isn't easy. We've scaled dark hallways, come face to face with countless monstrosities, and pressed on even as our hearts raced. Each of the best survival horror games threatened to push us closer to that proverbial edge, to a point where we have to tap out for tamer, more lighthearted gameplay. I don't know about you, but after the watermill chase in Outlast 2, I had to play Stardew Valley for around 12 hours to calm down. Even more difficult than being a survival horror fan is choosing which games are the best in this genre. With a library of titles that defined and redefined what it's like to be terrified in a digital world, having to select only a few is more nerve wracking than Mr X's rhythmic pounding footsteps. Yet here we are poised and ready to deliver on what many are sure to agree, or maybe not, yeah, it is the internet, are the titles that help explain why we love survival horror games so much. To avoid a repetitive list of just one or two franchises, we're only choosing one game per franchise. We were only picking 10 as well, so some absolute classics cannot make the cut. But let's shout them out now. Dino Crisis, Parasite Eve, Haunting Ground, The Thing, Alone in the Dark, and Clock Tower. We love you. Please don't hurt us. Number 10, Alien Isolation. Just when fans of Ridley Scott's Alien thought there was no hope for even a decent game in the franchise, Creative Assembly steps in with a bona fide horror title that puts the pacing and horror of the first movie in the forefront. Alien Isolation builds off Scott's creation with Amanda Ripley, the daughter of Ellen Ripley. In Isolation, Amanda is a capable engineer that gets trapped aboard the Sylvester Pulse Station with a tenacious xenomorph. Unable to kill the fully grown alien, Ripley must sneak her way through the rickety station, battling deadly androids and unhinged survivors along the way. Creative Assembly took cues from the movies by making the alien capable of using the station's many vents to pop up literally almost anywhere. Make too much noise and the slick black figure will be on you in minutes, ready to plunge its inner jaw into your forehead. From the blip of the motion tracker to the rumbling in the ceilings, Isolation has plenty to make gamers shaky. Now then, let's get a second game please someone, or at least make use of similar amazing enemy AI. Number 9, Dead Space. Before EA became a meme in the horror community, they were publishing games like Dead Space, a horror title that became the Resident Evil of the late 2000s. As voiceless protagonist Isaac Clarke, games respond to the distress signal of the planet Cracker starship USG Ishimura. Clarke initially finds the expected nothingness, until a pivotal moment when all hell breaks loose. Necromorphs were unlike anything gamers had ever seen when Dead Space launched. A grotesque enemy that could only be killed via dismemberment was a relatively new concept that made steady aim essential to survival. Combine the creaks, groans and hisses of the Ishimura with necromorphs busting out of vents and you have yourself a recipe for a classic survival horror game. Dead Space 4 just isn't happening ever ever ever, but the Callisto protocol from the original devs definitely looks promising. Number 8, Soma. The concept of being trapped in an underwater facility with no hope of escape is enough of a horror scenario as it is. Frictional Games ups the ante with an assortment of deadly humanoid machines, some of which make truly unsettling sounds. Soma is all about solving puzzles and doing so stealthily. As Simon Jarrett, players are equipped with nothing but their wits as they explore the derelict station, dodging savage entities that stalk the sunken halls. As if only being able to run from enemies wasn't bad enough, Frictional Games toys with you quite a bit with pure psychological horror. Screen distortion warns of incoming enemies and further increases the fear factor of being chased, and you are going to be chased. This may actually be the most polarising game on this list, but for us, for the story it tells, it's pretty damn fantastic. 7. Outlast Though it had been done before, many would likely credit Outlast for popularising the concept of strictly stealth gameplay in survival horror. Investigative journalist Miles Upshur, much like the players controlling him, had no idea what was in store for him at the ominous Mount Massive Asylum. Armed with just a video camera, Miles entered a hellish labyrinth filled with unstable patients, cannibals, and towering brutes for the story of the century. Players may not have to worry about ammo, but when they run out of batteries, they say goodbye to their precious night vision. One can imagine the feelings of unease while navigating a pitch black psychiatric hospital filled with loons that have all sorts of plans for human remains. Outlast is relentless, forcing players to look over their shoulders every second to see what wretches may be lumbering their way. When you find a comfortable hiding spot, it's a chore to pull yourself away, for you know something is lurking nearby, waiting to do god knows what to you. The second game is also terrifying, though it does feature about 70% less penis, which may be a deal breaker for some. Number 6, System Shock 2. Before we had Bioshock, there was System Shock. 
While System Shock 1 innovated first person shooters, its sequel was a treat for survival horror fans. The true horror of System Shock 2 can be chalked up to the sound and level design. Everything seems so dark and empty, but somewhere you can hear the steady breathing of a hybrid stalking you. It's in these moments that you know your doom is imminent. It's a game that can get in your head and strike without warning. Though it may not appear to be an outright horror title at first, especially with its heavy focus on role playing gameplay, System Shock 2 surprises in the best ways. With headphones on and the volume turned up, it's easy to get sucked into the atmosphere. But be wary of the game's love of sudden loud noises. While some may raise an eyebrow at its inclusion here, as it's not overtly survival horror like the rest of the games, please take a look at the cyborg midwife and then try to say that. I mean, <sighs> Number 5 Amnesia The Dark Descent When people say it's survival focused, much like Outlast, what they're really doing is crediting Amnesia The Dark Descent. Following the success of Frictional Games' Penumbra series, Amnesia kicks things up a notch with the protagonist Daniel's fear of the dark. Stay in a dark spot for too long and it will contribute to his declining sanity. While the tension is built around stealth gameplay, Amnesia also introduces auditory and visual hallucinations to get under the player's skin. It creates a perfect storm of horror by forcing gamers to try and avoid the terrorising gatherers while keeping the defenseless Daniel from losing his mind. As well as providing great YouTube content, The Dark Descent is just generally one of the scariest games ever made. Some people can't even paddle in water anymore without hearing a splish splash and freaking out. If you know, you know. Number 4 Eternal Darkness Sanity's Requiem Not only was Eternal Darkness distributed by Nintendo, but it was also an exclusive on the GameCube, a console intended for family fun and to continue the Super Mario and Link legacy. That didn't stop Silicon Knights from throwing everything it had into this quirky title, which features some of the best survival horror in the genre. The core gameplay fits well under the action-adventure umbrella, but the game's sanity meter ingrained it into the history of survival horror. When a character goes insane, so too does the player. Some of the changes are so subtle as to make players question what they're seeing, while others break the fourth wall and are intended to downright mess with whoever's behind the controller. It may not leave hearts constantly pounding, but not knowing what's real is a unique horror that isn't typically used effectively in gaming. Number 3 Fatal Frame 2 Crimson Butterfly In the abandoned Minakami village, Mio and Meiyu Amakura confront restless ghosts of the past in what is still one of the scariest and best survival horror games to date. Swap out firearms for the mysterious camera obscura and embark on a slow burn ghost busting adventure as Mio as she searches for her sister and unravels the dark reality behind the Crimson Sacrifice ritual. Tecmo created the perfect atmosphere for his Japanese horror ghost story and filled it with truly horrifying enemies and memorable jump scares. There's just something about battling ghosts through a camera lens that makes the experience even scarier. If you cowered at the bent neck lady of The Haunting of Hill House, just wait until you encounter the broken neck woman of Fatal Frame 2, which many view as the high point of the Fatal Frame series. It's also a series that doesn't look like ever returning it again, which is sadly too common a thing on this list. <sighs> Number 2 Silent Hill 2 Sometimes it seems that video games are the one place where the adage nothing beats the original doesn't apply. There is simply no denying the greatness of Konami's first entry in the Silent Hill series, but its follow up is far and away the better experience. Silent Hill 2 follows James Sunderland as he's drawn to Silent Hill by a letter from his deceased wife. What follows is a game that chips away at the player's psyche with twisted monsters, incredible atmosphere and a tragic but utterly phenomenal story. Silent Hill 2 receives extra credit for bringing Pyramid Head into existence and featuring one of the most unsettling scenes in the entire series. A symbol of guilt and sexual frustration, Pyramid Head is a horrifying and sadistic creation that nobody wants stalking them. Unless you're trying to lead him towards being a part of a new Silent Hill game of course, now that would be nice. And number 1, Resident Evil 2, 1998. Yep, believe it or not, we're not going to include the critically acclaimed 2019 remake on this list. As undeniably great as it was, there is just no topping the original, tank controls and all. Sure, Resident Evil 2 may not hold up well by today's standards, but it was a revolutionary survival horror title that took the success of the original and built upon it tenfold. 
by introducing iconic characters like Leon S. Kennedy and Claire Redfield, and opening up the world beyond Arclay Mountains, Resident Evil 2 solidified the course of the series more so than any other entry. The sequel feels as if it is part of a bigger universe thanks to the museum turned police department that served as the primary setting and expanded list of mutated horrors. Stalking the halls of the RPD are memorable BOWs like the liquor, the mutated form of William Birkin and the relentless Mr X. Together with an incredible story and well done atmosphere for 1998 of course, Resident Evil 2 became an unforgettable survival horror classic from Hideki Kamiya, Shinji Mikami and Capcom. There aren't many games on this list that don't owe a debt of gratitude to this absolutely iconic game. So then that was our list for the 10 best survival horror games of all, all time. But what do you think? Should we have put a different Silent Hill game in or a different Resident Evil game? Be sure to let us know down below and thank you for watching.